This is the tenth mountain division. This was uh, during World War II, and this was where they trained to uh, go up on uh, up in was it Italy? Italy. Italian Alps. The Italian Alps to try to hit from behind. They didn't think that they could climb those mountains, and they did, and they were able to get up there and. Uh, make it a little turn for the World War II at that time. So the 10th Mountain Division is pretty well known. Also, um, a lot of those guys came back and started the ski areas, particularly here in Colorado, but all around uh, the U.S. and such. So they're, they're a pretty unique group. This you know, is the... Pete Seibert was in the mountain, the 10th Mountain Division, and he and one of his buddies were instrumental in starting Vail. I got to be friends with him when I skied at Loveland. He was running up the time. Right. Wonderful man. Died in 02. I'll just give you a leaf here. I met some of the group in Albuquerque this year and we went to uh, California, Marshall, California to start there. We have an event there, and we do events every day on the way back across the country. And the purpose is we raise funds to help the families and children, uh, veterans, those who are active and pass, so that the wives or those left at home can get counseling. Children, particularly, can get counseling, get involved in church groups. We are involved with several of the different camps across the United States, and give money for the kids to be able to go to camps and get counseling at the different camps and that's kind of what the organization carry the flame is. We do a flame ceremony at every event. We have a flame that looks like the torch, the Olympic torch. So I'm also a keeper of the flame. I'm the chaplain for that ride. And on this ride it happens every year, and Maxine's gone with me before, but we, I always clean my bike at night at the motel after everybody's kind of settled in and eating dinner and whatever else. I'm out there by myself, and that's when people will come and talk to me, and I can pray with them, and one of the guys that I prayed with six years ago came and shared with me this year that uh, he's accepted Christ, and that he's really gotten involved with the Blue and Gold Star Mothers, and he's helping families and children work through the process of loss. Does everyone know what Blue and Gold Star Mothers and the Panthers are? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a big deal when you come and tell us thanks, when you say thanks for your service. It's a really big deal. And sometimes we forget that. As military, we kind of think, well, everybody knows about the military. When you think of one half of one percent of America is military, and all of our freedoms are supported over the generations, since America started by that, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, you know, it really is. So any help that we can give uh, and support the military is, is amazing. One guy came to me this year in the middle of the year that I've been praying with for several years now, and he just he said, God's really leading me to, to know more about him and bringing me back. I was brought up in church. I was brought up Christian. But it, we were sitting at a revival, and the pastor started eyeing me, and he came toward me. And he was a kid then. And he grabbed him and said, Jesus told me that you need to be saved tonight. He started dragging him to the front. He turned around and ran out of that church. And he's never been back. I mean, it forced him away from Jesus. That's how bad it was. But he knows Jesus, like you were talking this morning in the, in the church. God's working on his heart. He knows it. I prayed with him that evening. Uh, he hasn't really decided to accept Christ yet. He did the time of that, but he came to me the next morning after we prayed. And he's a veteran and he spent some time in Nome and he said, uh, that's the first good night's sleep I've had since I got back from Vietnam. So God's really working with him and I've got to go to a meeting in July with, with that group. I'm going to spend some time talking with him again. But there's divine appointments. God puts us where we're supposed to be. I ride with this group every year. But that is what God has us do right now. We all have tools. Motorcycles are our tools. We use it to, to share the word, to share God's love with everybody. We have to remember to take time. Every one of us is 
has had people come up and talk to us at a gas stop. Yeah. We've got to allow time for that. Those are divine appointments. And sometimes we're in a hurry to get to the next stop, get to the next lunch, get to where we're supposed to be. Take a deep breath. You've had it happen, I know, a number of times. And we just have to allow that. That's what God has us doing. We got we can't forget that. You know, and you don't know the seed that you plant, the person that you talk to today, that three years from now can come to you and say, You don't know it, but you saved my life. Maxine and I both have had that happen over the years, in the last ten years. We've counseled people on marriage, we've counseled people on so many things. God's got me made me working with veterans in a lot of ways because I am one. I know that. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. I come from that life. I know what that is. Those people I can talk to. God puts you talking to people in the areas you're best equipped. And sadly, we're best equipped in the areas we messed up the worst. Because that's what we know. That's where we're from. I can talk to a veteran about war. I can talk to an animal. I can try to talk to a, <laughs> an alcoholic. I is one, dude. You know? <laughs> but the other thing is, you can't blow smoke up my skirt either. <laughs> I know what you're saying and I know where you came from. So, really listen to God is really my message. Where God directs you to, to serve, to serve in that area, and He's right there for a reason. And all those terrible things that have happened in your life turn into peace. <laughs> So they aren't eating at our table and they haven't gotten their food yet. Ha, ha, ha. 